Hi, so today we're gonna show you how to do the um, recital hairstyle. So we're gonna go over the things you're gonna need. First, and probably most importantly, you're going to need some hairspray and some hair gel. So there's some options. So if your child has more than one dance and they're gonna need to change their hairstyle, you want to use just a regular hairspray. This one here, it says freeze and it's six rain hold. So if you use this and then you try to brush it out, it's gonna be really hard to comb out and it's gonna be like kind of crunchy and they're probably not gonna be too happy about that. And then if you have more than one dance, you wanna use like just a regular hold gel, not something like this because it will dry really crunchy in their hair and it's gonna hurt to brush it out. Uh, you might want some like leave-in conditioner when they're, you're brushing their hair out, obviously. Um, you're gonna need a detangling brush just to brush your hair out because so, you don't want to deal with snags and snarls while you're in the middle of like doing your hairstyle and then you're going to need a parting comb you can either use this one is like a plastic rat tail comb or one with a metal tip i like the metal tip one because it just is a little bit sharper and easier to get the part you can also use just like a regular comb with just the tip but i find the rat tail combs are a little bit easier and more precise you are going to need one of these hard bristle brushes. They're like the boar hair brushes because that you'll see when I show you later. It will help you get all the flyaways and their little baby hairs all sweet back because you want the hair to be really slick. No baby hairs, no flyaways. And then this is optional, but it's really helpful. It's like, this is by John Frieda. It's basically like hair gel in a little mascara tube, like, and then you can sweep their baby hairs away. Um, you can also just use like regular hair gel and use like one of these brushes or a toothbrush even, a clean one, um, just to get their baby hairs back. And then you're gonna need some just regular bobby pins, just if they have short hairs, baby hairs, you wanna pin back. And the last thing is hair ties. So if your child has really, thick and long hair. Like Zoe has pretty long hair. So I would use big rubber bands. I would not use like those tiny little rubber bands because they're definitely gonna break, especially when they're dancing. So I wouldn't trust that. Um, I would use these like standard hair ties with these ones have like rubber on the inside. So it will really help grip their hair. You can, these ones also have like rubber on them. If your child has like super thick or long hair, especially if they're an older girl, you can use like these giant ones. So anything like that will do, just hair ties. I also forgot you're gonna need, this is just a water spray bottle. This is from Amazon. I like this one because, look forward, um, it just like mists their hair. So you're gonna want damp hair. So just a water spray bottle, any spray bottle to mist their hair. Um, it's a lot easier to do with damp hair and make sure you brush their hair out. So now that we've got it all detangled, it's all smooth, we're gonna want to get the little baby hairs wet. And then you're gonna want to part it with the little fat tail comb right here. So you wanna line it up with their nose in the middle. Make sure your part is straight, down the middle as straight as possible, straight line. And it's kind of hard to tell from the like top if it's straight, so you might want to go in front of them to check. And then all the way down to the back of their head, because you're going to part it into two pigtails. Okay. Then you're going to want to take a hair tie and just put one side over so that it stays out of the way. Okay, and then get your gel. Spray the hair damp with water. Get all those baby hairs, especially in the back. And then spray down the part too, because they tend to have a lot of baby hairs right there. Get kind of a lot of gel. Like, Don't be afraid to use the gel, because you're gonna need to get all of those baby hairs back. You want it to be super slicked. And don't forget the back like by the nape of their neck. Then, first I use like just the regular, regular brush to 
get kind of a base Then you need to go with a finer brush. And you want to get super smooth. Try not to have any bumps because that will make it look really recital ready. Then, like I said, with the more bristle brush, it makes it super smooth. And it gets all those little baby hairs in the front. And you want the pigtail to be high so that when they shake their head, their ponytails shake. Like, pretty high. Get smooth all over. Try not to have like a lot of um, gaps where you can like see their scalp. Another trick is that if their hair is like really slippery and fine and it tends to like fall out of styles a lot, you want to. Try not to wash their hair for at least one or two days before the recital so that they have kind of like um, their natural oils in it and it's not as like slippery. So they'll stay better. And there we go. We got one high piggy tail right there. And then we're going to go to do the other side and we'll come back when the other side is done. You want to have them matching up um, the same height as much as possible. So we're going to do the curls. Cause you're gonna need your curl, your hair curl. So just simple, use, watch out. Curling iron, okay? Go all the way down to the bottom and then roll it all the way up, twist, twist, twist. And then, oh. Oops, we missed a hair. Let's see. Okay, keep it kind of tight. And then hold it until you feel the hair. You can touch the hair on the outside. Until it gets warm. Probably about 10, 20 seconds. For little kids, you don't really need to hold it that long because their hair is pretty fine, so it will curl easily. So, and then if their hair, is it hot? <laughs> if their hair doesn't hold curl well, what you can do is you can keep it in that little roll, rolled up, and you can bobby pin it to their hair and just keep it like that until it cools. That will help it stay. Okay, so we're just gonna do one side just to show you for an example. It's not that curly, but you want it to have like ringlet curls. Like this one is pretty good, okay? And then after you curl it, you're gonna go over, careful, don't touch it, okay? The whole thing, with hairspray. So close your eyes and hold your breath. Yeah, cover your face. You want to get all the baby hairs hairsprayed in on the back too. And then get the curls too. Watch out. I'm hairsprayed. Okay. Because you definitely want to keep the curls in for the whole show. Okay. So there you go. There's her little curls. You want it to be a little more curly than this, but we're kind of rushing right now. And then for their hair pieces, you're gonna put their little hair bows in, clip them in front, and then you're gonna wanna make sure to bobby pin them in on the ribbons so that they don't fall out. So let's pick a spot. Try to go towards the back so you can't see it that well. And then Make a crisscross with the bobby pins. You want them to make an X. That will really lock it in. Can I and you're gonna do it this side. Too? Yeah. Two sides. <laughs> and you want to make an X on both sides so that they stay locked together. <laughs> and both sides. Okay, so look at the camera. Put your hands down. And then smile. Okay, right there, smile. See, there's her piggies. And then twirl, do a twirl, look at the back. Wait, stop, stop, stop. Okay, and you can see the line is straight there. Okay, and then go back to the front. And we got her curls. Cute. And make sure you bobby pin your bows in so they don't fly out while they're dancing. <laughs> 